Yeah, but I was going to say was, you, the, the crazy thing about Boys in the Hood is, yeah, you could have been, you might have been the best acted part of the movie. Like, to me, you're the part, I always think about the end of the movie, that scene, the scene of you and Cuba Gooding Jr. at the end being such a real, authentic part, you know, between yeah. someone who, and it's funny because it's so weird, not to get all uh, sad, but... My brother-in-law passed away recently. I mean, he was 18. He wasn't. Sh- he wasn't shot and killed. He was in a drunk driving. He was killed in a drunk driving accident. But I literally felt. I thought about that moment yeah. when I sat down with his brother, my girl's other brother, yeah. for the first time. I was like, you know, like that. We're brothers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I literally harken back to that moment because that shit was so authentic to me. Yeah, man. You know that that part was the part I had the most anxiety about doing. Because John was like, you know, we got to see you cry, man. We got to see tears running down your face. I'm like, man, yeah, you ain't going to get tears that. running down my face. You know what I mean? I done seen a lot of, I mean, a lot of homies done got killed, man. And some you tear up on and some you don't, you know. And, you know, uh, so I had a lot of anxiety to, you know, this is my first acting gig, and then this dude is asking, asking me to to go a place that I don't necessarily feel yet. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, John, I got to do it how I feel it, man. I, I can't manufacture no bullshit. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it how I feel it. And uh, he was like, okay, give me what you got, and he liked what I gave him. You know, which was that's crazy. You know. Uh, you know, it, it it was a few tears was there, and that's how it would be. You know, with right. with a guy like Doughboy. So, um, you know, it, it was a cool part. You know, I had a lot of anxiety to pull it off. You know, I'm 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 working with you know people like Lawrence Fishburne. You know, what I mean, a hell of an actor. Uh, Cuba Gooden was, you know, he wasn't known, but he's a hell of an he's actor. A, he's you know, what I mean, that dude bring it. And um, so you know, I, I wanted to bring it too. You know, I didn't want to be you know, the rapper yeah, in the, the rapper, movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wanted to be and I wanted my part to be thick and I wanted people to, to be impressed. So, you know, we had fun with that movie, man. You did know, you, it was, it was I crazy. always wanted to ask you, did you feel did you ever have a discussion with yourself to either use Ice Cube or your real name? Nah, never. Always Ice Cube. Always Ice Cube. You know, my real name is it's for me and my family, you know, it's like... Even though we all know it. It's one yeah, of the most yeah. known hip-hop no, names. I always think, like, Fresh Prince, and then he went with nah. Will Smith. Fresh Prince was like, I'm out of here. Yeah, done. Nah, nah, nah. You know, Ice Cube is my nickname. It's it's, it's the name that I want people to call me by. Yeah. I want people hollering, yo, Shay. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm shit. thinking my family is... <laughs> so it's literally just family that says that. Yeah, literally. Does anybody in your family call you Cube? Uh, My brother might yeah. call me Cube, you know. You know, sometimes my pops will call me Cube. Oh, only when, big only rapper, when, Mr. Nah, Ice nah, Cube. nah, nah. He he ain't like that. He, <laughs> he rolls with me. I take him on tour. You know what I mean? Really? So he yeah, he part of the crew. Uh, so you know, sometimes he you know if you don't had a few, he'd be like Cube, come here. You know what I mean? Come kick it with me. So, uh, you know, it's cool, man. You know, it's it's yeah, all like love, my mom but, calls me Cipher, like yo, yes. Yeah, you know, my, my mother like she, my she still calls me O'Shea. You know, my mother, my wife. <laughs> you know. O'Shea. O'Shea. Yeah. <laughs> and you win an Oscar, it's Ice Cube. Anything, ice Cube. Anything in the performance world, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. They better say Ice Cube. <laughs> um, it's funny. I feel like my, I feel like there's, do you feel like the, the hip hop world thinks that you've become different because you've become a nice guy in film? Like, I, I have to say, I'm almost a little surprised that your presence still feels exactly like what I would imagine the Ice Cube presence to feel like. No, not, it doesn't feel like Are We There Yet. It feels no. like Ice Cube. Well, I, you know, Are We There Yet is nothing but a movie. You know what I'm saying? And people, I guess I can act hella good because people, <laughs> you know, they they tend to think that just because I did this movie that somehow that's the direction I'm going. You know, I ain't trying to be Bill Cosby. I'm myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not a gimmick, you know, and... I guess people think, uh, you know, he did that. Now he's doing this, and it's all whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah, you know, I still, I still look at everything through the same eyes, man. You know, I just know how to, you know, play the game I need to play to get where I need to go. And uh, 
And it's cool, you know, it's cool, you know. I mean. It's cool I, to get money out of the same system that you've been deriding your entire career and you know how to get Why not? They owe us money. They, we, might as well be able, we might as well pluck it out, you know. That's what we've been bitching for the whole 400 years, man. Give us a shot of this, man. Give us a piece, you know, of what we done earn, what we done work for. So when you get it, why still act a fool, you know what I mean? You know, now is the time to be like, hell yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. This is what I've been it's the payday. Yeah, this is the payday. This is what it's all about. Now I can take care of my family. Now I ain't got to suffer. Now I ain't got to think about all these uh, things that, you know, that, that, that keep you depressed, that keep you down. You know what I mean? Is is worrying about where, where the next meal coming from, where the next uh, this or that coming from. So those worries are, they still there, but they not as down pressing on, on, on uh, me and my family. So, you know. I don't have to be mad all the damn time. Absolutely no more. not. Got a little little chips. Speaking of being mad, <laughs> what were you what were you offended by on I Used to Love Her? Come I was offended by the fact that he was basically saying when the West Coast got you, it turned you into a trick. You know what I mean? And you know, I used to love her, but since the West Coast done got you, I don't love it. She's ain't loving you down. no more. You know, to me that was foul. You know what I mean? Because when I first came out in hip hop, everybody had their own style. Nobody, you couldn't bite. If you bit somebody, scratch or verse or line or hook, man, you might as well just quit rapping. Cause ain't nobody messing with you, ain't nobody buying your records. You you considered a biter, you know what I mean? Get out. So I felt like we had our own style, and I thought we was gonna be able to keep our style, and everybody else was still gonna be able to do their style. But then slowly but surely, everybody started doing what we was doing. You know what I mean? And it just it it did become like uh it did taint the music to me because everybody was trying to do the same thing. Even the groups that had their own style was now trying to 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 give a harder look or a harder edge or trying to, you know, to pull it the gangster way. And and to me I, I thought that was whack, but you can't blame us for that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta blame them. You know, we still got the same I still got the same style I started with. You know what I mean? I ain't changed uh, up did, at all. He did wear a Raiders jacket in here today. Let's yeah. be, totally, let's <laughs> be <laughs> clear. <laughs> so yeah, I still got the same the style. Countdown. I haven't I haven't changed up, switched up. You know, you got to do different records. You can't keep doing the same kind of record. But uh, for the most part, you know, I, I look at, you know, hip hop had just turned into it's cool to bite. It's cool to bite. It's cool to bite. And everybody biting and it don't even matter no more. And that's what's whack. Not the West Coast. the whole thing. Ain't what the West Coast did. It ain't gangster rap. It's the fact that everybody's biting now. And uh, and that's whack. So what, are, what was the first thing that you said back to the... What was the first response to Common? I don't even remember. I think it was... Uh, I think it was on... The West, West Side Coast? Connection. That's what album. I said. It was West Side Connection. Yeah. Bow Down or something? It was, it, that was, it was on a record oh, yeah, I think yeah. we called... Uh, it was like the last record on the album. It was one of them records everybody jumped on. And, you know, I just felt like I had to say something. And then, you know, Common came back with a record. Um, a mean one. That's a mean one. Yeah. The Pete Rock. It's all right. You don't love it? It's all right. You know what I mean? But I had, I had. I guess how I, can look, you love look, it? Look, look, look. I, 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 had, I had a record, man, that was a killer. And then we ended up having this summit with Farrakhan. Oh. And. Basically, he was like, "Yo, Ice Cube, I want to talk to you." Sorry, watch your mouth. Man. I do a bad. I do. A, I do a Farrakhan impression. Yeah, you Farrakhan did terrible, called us. Terrible, like, hey, yo, tell him to stop doing that. <laughs> That's whack. Okay, sorry. All right, so so anyway, we had this conference, and uh, he he helped us squash it. Mm -hmm. He helped us squash it. So I just never did my record. I just you had you recorded it. No, I had the lyrics. You wrote it, but you didn't record I didn't it. Recorded, yeah, I had the lyrics. So it never happened. It, it never happened. And it was a. Uh, you want to spit it now? Yeah, you got it? You got that up here? <laughs> no, I got love for Common. I, I never Y'all are cool? I ain't going to diss Common. I got love for him. <laughs> and you guys ran into each other and made Yeah, that... yeah, we done ran into... Well, we was there at the summit. Oh, you yeah, know? The I summit. mean, his record was out. 
during the song. But his rec- I love his record. I don't love it as one of the greatest diss records of all time. I just like the song. Well, the I just love it as a Pete up. Rock. It's a Pete Rock like. Yeah, but it, it, as a diss record, it's all right. He comes pretty hard on it though. Yeah. I don't know. It, yeah, I heard. I it love the twice. record. It, 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 it's cool. You know, it's a cool diss. Uh, you know, it's it's it, it's to me that's hip hop. You know, it's yeah. you know you he had to come back. You know what I'm saying? He had to. And uh, I'm glad he did because, you know, I mean, it shows that, you know, it's, that's what it's all about. You know, it's all about somebody go at you, you go back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I never responded. And that's cool. I can live no, with it. No, you can live with it, but he has a look in his eye of he wishes he just gotten that <laughs> I mean, joint out, know, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, you kind of oh, wish. The, you, the, you the something could have happened a month later. <laughs> the nah, man nah. in them is happy that they squashed the beef because they know what it's all about. But the rapper is like, I had one. He's, he should have been like, Yo, Farrakhan, let me just drop this, and then and we'll, we'll get together. <laughs> nah, nah. I, I was gonna, I was gonna be a man of my word. You know what I mean? That it was over, and we shook hands at that meeting and gave each other a hug, and it was over. Cool. It was over that day. All right, we're being told you need to go in a minute. Last thing I want to ask you about hip hop wise, though, what's you? You still, you still, um, you still real cool with, and will you be working again with potentially Dub C and Mac Ten? Well, you know, me and Dub, we ain't never, you know, had no problems, no issues. We still go on tour together. You know, me and Mac ain't working together no more. You know what I mean? It was a little beef in there, family issue. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, I ain't even think about that part. Me and Dub gonna always work That's... together. And, uh, you know, I'm working on an album right now called Everything's Corrupt. It'll be out next year. And, you know, I'm still spitting. And, oh, and sorry, I'd be remiss. Last thing. Chin check. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. We all were like, oh my God, is this happening? Happened. What happened? What happened after Chin Check? Uh, Eminem and 50 Cent happened. <laughs> you know oh. what I mean? It just <laughs> took Dre's attention, you know? Uh, they Those was big records, big artists. I, I understood why the NWA record didn't happen after that. You know what I'm saying? Them so dudes close. was just, it was close. We was real close, you know? Uh, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. We're, gonna, we're about to do a movie. What and the movie is like a like a, a biopic, real right? deal, real like deal, a, like a acting movie, not acting like a movie. biography. Like no, a, no biography. Uh, is anyone movie. in it or any of you guys in the movie at all? I'm not in. No, nobody's in the movie. We getting actors, you know. I, I hope my son OMG play me. You know what I'm saying? I think he could do it. Uh, so you know, we'll see, we'll see. But we got the movie. It's being directed by Gary Gray, who did uh he did the first Friday. Hey, he did set it off. Italian job. A lot the of negotiator. Stuff. You know, and he knows the world. He was there. Already? Yes, written. We just still, you know, fine-tuning, it. fine-tuning the script. You know, it's it's a hell of a script, man. People going to be hella interested on, oh you know, God. which which how this stuff came about and the twists and turns and the drama and the beefs and the... Do you, when you like write a movie that. like that, do you have to add stuff to, like, sensationalize it or it's just the, the, nah. the true story? You got to take stuff out, bro. Because oh, if true. not, we'd have a miniseries. Right. You know what I'm saying? So... We ain't gotta you ain't got we ain't gotta put no whoop on this, man. Right. It's, it's all right is. there. 